Right. Hi there. My name is Andy Young and I'm one of the automotive lecturers down at Unitech in Auckland, New Zealand. And welcome to my Andy Mechanic YouTube channel. Now this is uh, a video that I hadn't planned to do today. Benjamin came into the workshop and said, I need some brake pads for the back of my TT250R fitting. So, this is what he had holding in his hand. He had some brake pads from Yamaha and that's the part number. And I'm hoping these are the right ones. We'll find out very shortly. So this is going to be a very quick, short video on how to fit new brake pads to the back of a 1996 TT250R RAID um, Yamaha. Here we go. Okay, so our first job is to get rid of this protective cowl, this plastic guard off the back. A couple of 8mm bolts, 8mm head, M6 thread. Tight, so right. Now, the next job before we actually take the caliper off the bike, we need to crack off these two five mil Allen key bolts. Now, these are the pins that retain the pads in the caliper. I have no idea why Benjamin's not doing it himself, but... Uh, lazy child. You can make your own deductions from that. Right then. Now, we don't need to pull those all the way out just yet, but we can spin them out on the threads. Cool, yeah. Okay, Ben's going to give us a hand because he's a good lad. He's realised that his dad's been working all day. Isn't that right, Ben? Uh, no. You were going to go inside and play PlayStation, weren't you? I'm going to fall asleep after riding 25 kilometres at the newer. Ah, that's not far. I did more than that at Woodhill the other day. Uh, no, I didn't mean that. It's just my watch didn't record most of it. No, that loops about 12. Right, go and get me a socket for this. I think it's a 24 by looks of it. Did you actually have enough to get it on, on and off the sprocket without the spindling? Or with the spindling? Uh, I can't remember. Uh, there you go. Yeah. That's just about there. Yeah. Seen that. Seen there. Right, see if we get your chain off. Now it's important when you're doing this, you've got to tire just on the bed when nothing drops. Right, now we've got the wheel out of the way, we can pull those two pins. Oh, still some copper paste on there, that's good. And we can remove those brake pads which are getting pretty thin. Actually that one there, look. Look at that. Good job, son. Oh man, look at that piston. Big chunk. Benjamin Young. Right, so we'll give that piston a bit of a clean up, get all the dirt off it before we push it back into the caliper. 
Now, a lot of people will be tempted to spray this uh, with petrol or uh, CRC or WD-40 and stuff, but that's really bad for the seals inside the caliper. So we, we need some kind of lubricant. Right. So, seems we don't have any brake cleaner, because Ben used it all. But if you hold that, I'm just going to see if I can get this rag around the back. I've just put a bit of brake fluid, believe it or not, actually on the rag to act as a, a cleaner. Now, if we're doing a proper job, we'll be replacing that piston. And everything will be really good. We're out of time because it's like a last minute job, isn't it, Ben? No. It is. It's a last minute job. I want to go inside. We can always steal the caliper off the DT. Oh yeah, same one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But that would mean that there'd be even less of a DT to rebuild later on. Yeah. I've already stolen it, it's from brake leader. Alright, that'll do. It's pretty clean. Okay, now we should be able to push that back back in with our under thumb pressure. We'll wait and see. Oh look at that, pretty good. Perfect. Right. Time for some new brake pads. Sorted. Just check the sliders. Oh, spare a bit. And, oh yeah, the sliders are pretty good. A little bit dry. We get that off there. We can, can't we? There we go. Yes, quite dry. Let's give those a clean up. You got us some emery cloth, Ben, please. Uh, top of my toolbox. It's changing my Wow, that's really rusty, Ben. What are you doing to this bike? Uh, 92,000 kilometers. And can you get me the copper paste? Which is on the rattle down there at the end, near the, near the chain off. Look at the rust. It's really important these sliders move freely, otherwise it causes the brakes to grind on. Yeah, then quick fix. Right, what's the other one like? Oh, that one's not so bad. Just the grease has gone a bit, a bit hard, hasn't it? Yeah, cover that. Right, copper paste. <clears throat> We use copper paste because it's heat resistant. And if we just fitted the brake pads in situ and not taken the caliper off, we wouldn't have seen any of this. That's the problem. Right, said Fred. Let's slot those back together again. Too good. Right. Sorted. Now your little disky thing fell out. Little nylon disc fell out of your piston there, Ben. Mm -hmm. So we'll stick him back in. We'll put a copper paste on the back of it and that way it won't fall out again, will it? So glue it into place. Perfect. Right. Okay, can you go and clean up those two pins for me? I'm going to put some fresh copper paste on. Do you want some memory cloth? That. They're actually a lot cleaner than last time. Yes. Who fit the last set? Me. Really? Mm -hmm. It's not like you, son. These pads handed or they're both the same? I think they're both the same. Yeah, both the same. Now, 
runs on stops on one end, so we need a bit of copper paste along there, not on the pad, just on the backing. And where it makes contact with the piston. That helps to reduce brake squeal and stuff. Pads bent those pins. Stay right. Now again with the pins, these have got to be clean and smooth, and there's a thin layer of copper paste on there just to help those pads move in and out freely. There we go. Oh, I could have got another thousand K's out of these. Yes. Put me in your spares box, Ben. No, you know, Ben. I've already got a new pair for spares as well. Have you? Yeah, I don't I don't know how I ended up so many pads for this. Bizarre, isn't it? Yeah. I must have just bought some and forgot I bought one and bought some more. Huh. Like the spare clutch I had lying around for this. Yes. Right, since so one. That's important not to get the copper paste on the brake pad. <coughs> that would be bad. Bad for Ben. Ooh, do that. Oh, you'd be surprised. A lot of car mechanics, the ones that are not particularly good, tend to get a lot of oil and grease on the brake pads when they're fitting. Right, pad number two. Now this one goes in that way around, so it needs to have some copper paste on that end. Because that's the end that slides against the shoulder. And this time, a little line there and a little line there. For the fingers, for the, for the claw. Your touches. Right. Goes in there. Twiddle it round. Try and get the right place. Push it down. Push the pins through. Right. We've got that um, number five Allen key on the extension tap. And then we'll just wind those in. Cool, we'll tighten those up once it's back on the bike together. Right, give me a flat screwdriver then, please. Oh, that'll do, that one. Just saying, I'll line these pads properly before we go any further. What a disc. Cool. Okay, let's get the wheel back in. Yeah, I think we'll also bang a bit of copper paste in that groove down there. I was right, these Shimano pins are stainless. Yeah, they're good. Really good. Now this goes on there first, doesn't it? Then the wheel goes in, is that right? Yeah. Cool. Okay, let's get this wheel back in there. 3.5 is a minimum. Yeah. Awesome. Keep turning it like that. Right. No, you would think you'd get at least a millimetre of wear out of the disc. Yeah, you should do. Right, you're in charge of that side. So we need to go much further forward to get you get your chain on. Are you hitting the caliper now? And then we need to go up. You want to make sure your pads are in the right place. Keep your side of the disc. There you go. Don't do Uncle Daniel, would you? Right, hang on. Oh, you need to have My fingers are in here now. No, you don't need them. The spare. Still not in the dropout yet. It needs to go. No, I'm in my dropout. Oh, this isn't. There we go. Alright. Press the copper hammer, please. If I destroy my hand, that's already broken. Now, does this, this go on top or below? On top. Okay. I think you're on two clicks, weren't you, on the snare? 
Oh, they're good. Right, give you that. Just, uh, just check your own two clicks, Ben, on the thing. God, there's no way to get in, is it? So, the, if you were to count from the first one being one, we're on the third dimple. One, two, three, yeah. Yeah, so the little arm is just one, two, three. Have you tightened it up yet? No, the finger tightened. One, two, three. Okay, that's where you were before, is it? I don't know. Well, I first remember that. I'll go one more. Go to four. Tweak her up. Oh yeah. Right, go and find a go split pin. There you go. Yeah. Excellent. Right, we'll just tweak these up now. Okay, do you want to pump your rear brake up for us? Right, on, off, on, cool. Right, did you actually align the thingies? You did, didn't you? No. Cool. Bloody good. Right, just the guard to go. Which I'm quite amazed you took off actually. Oh, well, I'm just good like that. I suppose I used the sliders in it. But, oh. I must have taken it off when I took the sliders last time. I've got a spare one of those laying around. Yeah. Yeah. Got it from Henderson, am I? Shh. Paula wants some money for it. Nah, screw Paul. How many years ago now? Yeah, he did a lot for the guy anyway, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Living a lot of year around. Ooh, he? Right, said Fred. There we go. Easy as that. So there you go, a really quick video showing you how to fit brake pads to the back of a TT250R. Now, it's nowhere near as comprehensive as many of the other videos that I've done because it was a last minute job, but I thought it did warrant being put to camera. It just, it shows that uh, you do need to remove the rear wheel to get the caliper off the bike, and you really do need to take the caliper off the bike so you can actually inspect that piston and give it a clean before you push it back into the caliper because you don't want all that dirt going into, you know, into your main seal and the, the dust seal, it's gonna get dragged in with the piston, it's just gonna cause the whole thing to bind up. Plus we found that the sliders was dry, we cleaned those up and put some copper paste on so that the, uh, the caliper moves freely uh, and the, uh, the pads can come away from the brake disc whenever the brakes um, you know, are taken off, you know, we take your foot off the brake pedal. Um, as regards what we used, well we needed obviously the parts and there's the part number again, look, good old Yamaha stuff. We used some copper paste and some memory cloth and a few spanners. Easy. Okay, well, hope you, hopefully you found that video helpful. Um, if you want to subscribe to the channel, click on subscribe. You'll see the little gear icon turn up. Uh, click on that, and then you can turn on notifications, and that way you'll get an email from our friends at YouTube whenever I upload any new videos. You'll also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and Twitter. Feel free to use any of those portals to communicate, although really I would prefer that you use uh, YouTube as your first point of contact. Okay, crew, cheers now. Over and out.